And the macho has wheat. It didn't affect his wheat. But all the pakas that are around, it, always, it affected their wheat. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Even way yeah. down there, they had all the way down there, planted the wheat. They had to yeah. feed, the, feed the, the people that come here for the healing and all that sort yeah. of stuff. They didn't stay here. They must have come in their droves. And then, when the matua passed away and all that, well, he used to have racehorses too, the matua. Mm. And um, I remember our uncle of mine, well, he used to, him and another co matua, they used to, well, they used to be the train of the horses, you know, mm. yeah, in, in this, in this Nongahinai workshop. Then, when all that mahi was finished, all the people from north came, and they lived in that, that whare. Hey, and down below there, there's, there's a dam there. And they used to wash their clothes in the dam, well, the, the dam was fairly clean, eh? Wash their clothes, hang all their clothes up on a, you know, on a, a, a thing. Uh, just a wire, mm. similar to just a normal... Fence. Fencing why, yeah. They all used to live in there. Because my father in law used to live in there. Book <laughs> yeah, They all used to live in that. And um I, I read that a lot of people didn't want to go home after they'd come to yeah, to an event. Yeah. They just didn't want to go home. Mm. I must admit I felt like that a couple of times when I was young. Yeah. You know. Because I was lucky when we place. came here. I came here in nineteen thirty seven, my mum, my dad died in, in in Danny Burke and um, south of Danny Burke and we and mum said oh we're going to come here we're going to come to Ratna so we just left all left our cows to our aunt, uncle and auntie and we shifted here I was about seven then my dad died when I was six and we came here and the matu was still alive well he's he was finished but mm. he was just Ratna eh? mm. yeah 1937 38 39 and then so you got there. to meet him well I didn't sort of uh, shake hand to him but I saw him you know I saw because my auntie was she was going back to Kaiui over here and she said oh you want to come and see you people normally go to him eh, before they leave to go home hey, to see if it's okay to go and um she said want to come and see them she's going to see the matua before she goes back to Kaiui and I said oh yes I just went and then we got into the kitchen in the house down here and all these men were standing talking to one another all they were fairly close like you know all close to one another talking away and there was only one person we shook hand to. But from that day to this, you know, I thought, oh, no, that couldn't, can't, couldn't have been a Tahu Portu Wheeling Because I used to see him coming to the, coming to the temple, eh? When we used to be kids, we thought, we used to be really organized in the temple then, mm -hmm. you know? You walk in there, and, and this lady, she's like a, 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 woman, a lady, ka, uh, Kajipa, she's standing at, at the door. That was her mahi. You walk in, you walk in with uh, no coat, you sent home to get a coat. You come in with shorts. If you're, if you're a man, you got to go home and get your yeah. And all the all the women women used to go go in on the right. Oh no, yeah. All the women used to go in on the right right side of the temple, and all the men on the other side. So it was segregated. Yeah. Wow. Because you married or what? Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then all the all the tamarikis, well they all they and their mothers they all in one one group. Well, if we have a kaitiaki whakamumiti all standing in the aisles looking looking after that, that particular group. Wow. Yeah, it was really strict, you know, which was good. Mm. But today is just a <laughs> shamble. You think it's a shamble, Steve? Well, yeah, I mean, today. It's more relaxed. Well, well, I don't know. I suppose it is, but I just think, heck, we, we were quick to sort of drop what the matu left and it went this other way. Although, you know, people, saw, people come in now with just short on and all that sort of stuff mm. there, you know. Mm. Mm. So, I mean, even leaving behind um, belongings at the gate, at the Tinepara yeah, gates, yeah. they don't do that now. I, I remember yeah, when I was here, right. people used to leave their wallets and stuff outside, yeah. their cameras yeah. and everything. Yeah. But no, well, I mean to say they were told, don't leave it out there. Don't, you know, take, leave it in your car or lock it up in your car. Don't, don't take it there because the people pinch it. Mm. Hey, mm. I'll take it all right. Mm. So how many acres of wheat would he have, ha you know, would he have grown here? Well, way down, oh, I don't, all, even up around here is the plant the wheat. Mm. All this area here, that was all his land up on the hill there, on that, those ridges. Yeah, all down here, acres of it. And then people used to come by train. The train used to run through here. You know that? I knew that. It went to <laughs> Turakina because yeah, I've gone the train that way. Is, Oh, right. 
He says, run, oh, you see where those power poles way down there? Yes. Well, this side, those power poles, the, the line used to go right along down here, behind, or near the, near the Tauranga house, what they call the Tauranga house, yep. the green, yeah, it used to be in front of that. Hey. Because the road runs past the Tauranga house, well, this side of the, that, hey. Oh, the station used to be down there, the railway station. Yeah. And then this particular day, the people came, were coming here on the train, you know, and they all went to one side of the, the carriage, you know, to look at look at the wheat. And in according to the Fetu Marama, he said if it was a, a boat, you know, it would cap it was because <laughs> everybody was on one side of the, the carriage, eh? Uh, yeah. All those trippers were in the in the Fetu Marama and said, Yes, it was a well they wanted to look at the wheat at the Matua. Yeah. Mm. And his workers, how he had his workers. Do you still read the Fetu Marama? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh, yes, very important. Yeah. Because I mean, I say, when you think of it, there's two, I say there were two men that was chosen, Jesus and Tau Potiku Uri Muratana. Yeah. I said, if, if, God, if God was happy just with Jesus coming, there was no need to send the manga, mm. hey, the mouthpiece. Yet when you look through, through the Bible, you see there where it says in Luke, well, I will give you a mouth and wisdom. And I thought to myself when I read that all a while ago, I thought, oh, he's going to give, we're going to be, each, each one of our individuals going to be the mouth and wisdom. Then I realized later, no, there's only one. That was the manga. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. when he said, like, even the day when the Waidua Tapu came from out of the sea, way out there is the Turukina, the mouth of the Turukina River. Yeah. And the cloud came from out that area. And the Matua was looking and he saw it, you know. He saw this cloud and he thought, oh, maybe it was a, a water spout or, or something like that, eh? And it was coming, coming, and it was sort of heading this way. And he thought, ooh, you know, he started to get a big thing, eh? And then, then it came to where the old station used to be, the railway station. And he thought, well, maybe it'll carry on that other way. But it turned and came, <laughs> yeah, headed, headed towards him, eh? And then he thought, at the time, he thought, but as he got closer and closer, he said, well, he didn't want it to come towards the, to where he was because he said, might hit his house and destroy it. Hey. Then he thought, well, he's going to run into the kitchen by his wife and family. If they're going to die, well, they all died together. And then the cloud burst. And he saw all highways of the world coming here to Ratna. Yeah. And then he sort of changed them. Hey. Yeah. Then he had to go through the, through barbed wire fences and everything. Yeah. Mm, not a beautiful only, story. And not only that, he had to sacrifice his sons. Arap and Omeka and Hamura. Mm. Yeah. Because mm. when Arap was taken, he tried to save save Omeka by trying to change his name. See? Oh. Give him another name, you see? But no, he was already, you know, he couldn't. Be. Yeah. So anyway, Omeka had to be taken. Then later on, Samuel, eh? for the for the part of the annihilation of Tohungism and all that and all that, eh? Yeah. Well, he he was saying uh, in the Fetu Marama there, you know, he, now and again, I suppose you couldn't blame him because now and again the, the the people weren't listening to what he was saying, and he reckoned he's while well, he was on the Marae and he said he cried for his boys, eh? Just to think that they that they not even listening to what he's trying to tell them, yeah, to tell them people. He said he cried for his son, seeing that, well, they, he sacrificed his own boys, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though he had to go through the barbed wire fences and come back and, and, and of course, when he used to come, well, I think it was Arab, Arab that he used to go with him with a, with a lighted candle. Hey, yeah. did you read about that? Mm -hmm. Well, you just imagine walking out with a candle, or just a little breeze, or psh, out it goes, eh? <laughs> you just got a lot of match in it, the wind will blow it out, just a little breeze. So he used to go, go, and then come back in the early hours of the morning. Hey, and he'd come back there in front of the, yeah. And he used to be all, his clothes be all ripped and torn, and he'd be bleeding, and, he, and, the, and the fire was wanting to run out and wrap the blanket around him, but he said, he tried to say, that, don't touch me, you know, and all that. Well, that's what happened to someone in the Bible. Hey, I'll turn you into a pillar, a pillar of stone or, or salt, mm -hmm. something like that, eh? Hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the manga is the well, the manga is the return of the sun.
Og så nu da. Ja. Vi vil så da si. Ei, da må du huske at mange har vært ved tuturu, og da tamma tonu tina. Da må jo kautau ki tō maua rere kētanga. Ko tō wairu ko tō mānga i tērā, i tēnā na kiko kiko tēnei. He was saying he's only a human being, eh? Yeah, and... Ko tō wairu, that was in him. Speaking... Yeah. Yeah. Ko wairu, wairu of the mānga was going back into the temple. Then he'd be an ordinary person again. Yeah. Beautiful kōrero. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Not only that, the wairu at tapu said, Ko hau tēne ko tō wairu a tapu i hoki mai a hau tā pakanga nui o te ao. Hey, I'm the Holy Spirit, I come from the Great World War. Hey, I've come from the Great World War. I'm, oh, what up? Ko hau tē wairu a tapu i hoki mai a tā, tā pakanga nui o te ao. Ko rapu e a hau he tūranga wāua he mōku i roti ngā iwi o te ao, looking for a, a footstool. Tūranga wāua he mōku i roti ngā iwi o te ao, kaore e ki te au. Ko te ao, ko wari wari ki au. The, the, the world has forgotten me. And they boast about their knowledge and power, which after all, Hey, after all I've given to him. That's how I've come to you, the Māori people. Hey, if you are loyal to me, the Holy Spirit, I, sh I shall establish myself here. Well, really, the way to a tap is a what? What? Oh, sorry, yeah, oh, yeah, yes, yes. Like, Fe like, female in essence. Yeah, for the matua say, like, in his tipu. Well, we hoa the matua he tāne, but the way to a tapu the fire he wahine, but the tama tarawa tamaki. That, that, yeah. That's the horse. Hey. Mm. Mm. Well, that's great. <laughs> I've recorded that. I hope yeah. you don't mind, because oh, so I can right. share with my yeah. my whanau. Yeah. And um, oh. yeah, that was awesome. And thank you for bringing me up here. Well, thank you for this. Uh, where, where